What is up guys? It's Drizzy here. You already know the deal. We're gonna rip into whatever we got in front of us and we're gonna see what we can pull. For today's video, we're gonna be opening up another whole booster box, but of Power of the Elements this time. I'm sad I didn't pay attention. I didn't get the first edition box, so if I do pull any big ones, they're not gonna be worth as much. They're still gonna be worth a decent bit, but not as much, because they're not first edition. And also, I need to get like a Yu-Gi-Oh background because like it makes no, you can't really see it, but because the way the camera's angled, but I need to get a Yu-Gi-Oh background for some of my videos so that way I'm not doing Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with a Pokemon background where it doesn't make any sense. But no matter what, I hope you guys have been staying happy, positive, and healthy, opening any type of packs you find desirable, and getting all the crazy pulls you need. But till then, let's rip right into packs and see if we can pull something wild from any of these Yu-Gi-Oh packs. See if I can sell on my eBay store that I just opened up pretty much, started putting a couple listings on there. Oh, gotta do the pack trick. Can't forget about the pack trick when it comes to these cards, because... Hopefully we'll pull something wild that I'll be able to pop up on the eBay store, make a decent little profit off of, come back, buy some more for to open up on the channel for you guys. Got a Punk Jam Dragon Drive for the rare out of there. The rare out of there. But I really appreciate you guys' support. It has seriously been so overwhelming and so crazy how fast this channel has grown. It's been a little bit slow recently, but I've also kind of like cut back on the... Uh, videos as much as I used to not for my not because I wanted to but started back up at my uh other job again so I'm gonna be working full 40 hours a week as well as doing this and some other things so it's gonna be a hectic time but I promise I'll keep coming in with as much videos as I possibly can for you guys because you guys deserve it you guys are absolutely amazing and deserve everything in the world make sure you never give up on your dreams guys and always do the things that make you happy because no matter what your feelings in the end matter so never take them for granted. Sound like a damn philosopher right now, spitting out these facts. Got a Mary Melfus, uh, too, too long of name, way too long of name, Sprite Smashers, and Therion Empress Alasia. Yeah, Alasia. Some of these names I feel like I will butcher so bad. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! back. Well, I still play it. I have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. I have Duelio Sacred... Du Duelio. I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the Sacred Cards. And of course, there's an ad on my TV right now going through the background music. Shut up, ad. But we'll skip right past that. But yeah, I still play Yu-Gi-Oh! I still play up my Pokemon games from when I was a kid. I still play uh, Pokemon Coliseum right now. I got a playthrough I'm like 17 hours into. I haven't touched it in a little bit, but I know where I'm at. Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Come on, give me a crazy Starlight Rare. Please, Power of the Elements, please. I've opened another booster box. I didn't open it on camera. I've been using it for shorts and stuff like that. But I got a uh, secret rare out of there that's worth about 20 bucks. I have up on my eBay selling right now for $18.99 with free shipping. So if y'all want to go check out the eBay store, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's Drizzy TCG. Ooh, we got an EN Wave right there. I don't know if it's called N Wave or EN Wave. But. We are closing in on 1,000 subscribers, guys. I am at, like, I think 840 at the time of this recording. We are only 160 away from my initial goal for the whole year, guys. The whole year, my goal was to get to 1,000. Y'all got me here in almost two months. That is insane. Got an Emperor's Tanuki's Critter Count. For the rare nap pack, but that is seriously insane, guys. Do not forget that at 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a double giveaway. I'll be doing a sealed booster box of Pokemon and a sealed booster box or a sealed ETB of Pokemon. So make sure you guys be dropping enter and entry down in the comments so I know you want to be part of the giveaway. You must be subscribed to the channel. It helps out so much. Helps me give them, give them with all these giveaways. That way I can look your name up and easily tag you. Ooh, we got a power tool, Braver Dragon. I'm not seeing anything that's caught my eye for being super expensive yet because I do research what are the big hitter cards so that way I know when to freak out and know when not to freak out. So I don't want to look like an idiot freaking out over like a $4 card. Like, ah! <laughs> Come on, give me something crazy. Mary Melfus, I've got a lot of those. I, I will say I do get a lot of repeats out of these smaller packs. Well, the smaller packs at the smaller sets. Got a Scareclaw Straddle. This, this set uh, does have nine cards per pack, which is a decent bit. I think that's the highest in Yu-Gi-Oh! You're pretty much able to get is nine cards. I'm not exactly sure. Do not quote me on that. But just from what I remember as a kid and what I've been seeing now, highest one I've seen is nine cards. But 
Come on. Sprite Red, Propagand Cake, Tournament, Tournament Simple X, Soliac, um, Tierlaments, Merrill, and Ice Jade Creation, uh, no, Crosskeeper, Vernie, Vernislith, and the Flower Buds, Amaze, come on, camera focus, holy crap, Amaze Attraction, Thrill Cam, Shiv, Fairy of the Gaudy, the camera's not focusing the best like I want it, guys, I don't want it to be blurry, because I know it looks like poop. But, I mean, at least we're not getting big hits, so the blurriness isn't affecting much. But, all right, let's just keep on ripping into these packs. See if we can pull a crazy secret rare and where it's at in this booster box. It's probably at the very bottom, just waiting and showing, like, hee hee. Ooh, we got a Laura's Lady of Lament. <laughs> these names just, uh, like, the amount of cards. I, I was, like, looking into how many cards that Yu-Gi-Oh! actually has. And Yu-Gi-Oh! has, like, 12,000 different cards in it. Like, that's a lot of cards, bro. Like, the, the like card games are honestly so, like, underappreciated with how complex and how just deep and amazing they are. Like, it's ridiculous. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. Tournament's Kit... Kit Kellos. But it, it's really, like, crazy how much goes into making a game like this when it comes to, like strategies and everything like it, it, it's awesome and ridiculous at the same time but you got to have the right mindset you got to have the right like brain for it like sometimes it just does not click for people like i love playing a Yu Gi Oh uh games on the uh gamecube or playstation i'm not the biggest fan of the actual tcg but playing a video game with you ooh, this I, I don't i can't remember if this is a secret rare or not because it has the gold lettering or do they, do they all have the gold lettering is that the only one i've noticed no, the tournaments uh, had gold lettering too. I don't think those are the secret rares. If they are, I'll be slightly upset because I want something crazy. I want to scream on camera for you guys. I haven't pulled nothing big recently in any of my openings, and so like I'm just, I'm just trying to have that moment. I'm trying to have that big old just freak out. I love it. It makes me feel good. Come on, give me some... Oh, sorry for that card. Ooh, that card looks so dope. That, like, saber tooth Tiger with the Fire is so dope. I will say, the arts on Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm, like, half and half. Like, I I love Pokemon, but the arts sometimes are, like... They're cutesy. They're not, like, dope as shit. Besides, like, maybe some of, like, the crazier cards, like the alt arts and stuff like that. But, like, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s cards, they, they got it down packed to where they know what people like and, like, how, like, their cards should look. Like, it's, uh, it's that, that Japanese, slick, crazy-ass style. It's just dope. Like, look at that card. Like, he just looks like a savage. Albaz the Ashen. Like, he just looks like a savage, dude. Like, he will wreck your whole world if you even look at him wrong. And so, like, I love that aspect of it, too. Like, it, it's like Pokemon aren't really monsters, they're like animals, they're creatures, whereas in this game you have actual monsters. It's, I'm pretty sure the original name was Dual Monsters, and they changed it to Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, come on, give me something wild, Gem Knight, Lady Rose Diamond. <laughs> Gem Knight, Lady Rose Diamond! That sounds like a damn mouthful, because it is. Gem Rose, Gem Knight, Lady Rose Diamond. Alright. Put like seven different categories into one name. Right, come on, don't bend the cards. Don't bend the cards. If you guys have been enjoying the video, please make sure to smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing openings like this as much as I possibly can, as long as I can afford it, guys. I'm trying to be able to do crazy stuff for you guys on here. And if, if you guys can make this a career for me, I promise I'll be doing giveaways out the ass. Just like PokeRev, just like Danny Phantom. Just like Cool Trainer Ryan, any people like that. I'm just trying to get big for the community and help you guys out in the same way you help me. I'm going to give what I, I'm going to reap what I sow, guys. I'm trying to make sure that everybody can have the collections they want because this is bringing me so much happiness and so much nostalgia being able to do this again like I did when I was a kid. Not recording it, but, ooh, we got a primeval planet. Uh... Pearl, yeah, I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to make myself sound stupid, but that is an see, uh, that is one of the secret rares. I don't know exactly how much it's worth. I don't didn't really ring a bell in my mind for it being crazy, because I'm pretty sure most of the crazy ones are full starlights, and full starlights, the whole entire card is that crazy, uh, this pattern, that crazy starlight pattern. Well, that confused me. I thought there was, like, dirt on the card, but it was just the design of the card. 
I have no idea if I like double did the pack trick or not. That'd be kind of funny if I did, but nope. Wait, whoa, we got two ultra rares back to back like that. Exo Sister Martha. Beautiful ass card. Hopefully it's worth at least something so I can pop it up on the eBay. Actually, I'm gonna set these guys right over here out the way so they're not getting messed with. Eh, eh, eh. Gonna get right into the last couple packs we got. I think that is all we're gonna get for the crazy pulls because I think you get two ultra rares per uh, box for the most part. Vendred Scavenger, I know that card itself is 13 cents. I just looked it up the other day because I pulled it on a short and I was like, huh. But, all right, guys, we got five more packs of Power of the Elements. Let's see if we can get anything crazy. It doesn't look like we're going to when it comes to the actual odds of a booster box, but honestly, like, you never know when it comes to cards, dude. Cards are just cards. Like, they, they are a complete RNG. Like, it's just, just the luck of the draw, literally. So, come on. Got a terrible miss. Oh, we got another uh, gold lettering, which I honestly, I got to ask my mom, because honestly, my mom was the big Yu-Gi-Oh head when I was a kid. She was the P Pokemon was the Yu-Gi-Oh head. When I was growing up, me and her would be opening Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Boxes. She knew all the names for all the types of cards and everything like that. And I was just like, yeah, I, I like the way they look. That's cool. Celtic Guardian's awesome. And so <laughs> that's pretty much was my thought processing as a kid opening packs. But now that I know it's an actual business and I do actually... Damn, we got another one. Um, we act, that I do actually sell cards and uh, try to make a business out of it. Like it, it's so much more intriguing, so much more like fun than like I mean, it, it was always fun as a kid, but it gives an extra purpose to it now as an adult. Like it, it's like it has a reason behind it, and everything that has a reason behind it deserves to be looked into more. And so like yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the content. I know I've been talking a lot this one, but. It's got a lot of things I gotta say, man. I hope I y'all are enjoying it though. We got a sprite jet with a we got a whatever behind it, the sprite, uh, a sprite elf behind it. Last two packs of I'm gonna try and remember where them secret rares were. They were kind of like in like the uh, the lower end, but not bottom, so like middle bottom type deal. They were like probably like um, there's 24 packs, there's 12 packs on each side, so they're probably like maybe like eight packs deep on each side is when I got those uh, secret rares, but. I will let you guys know after the video. Ooh, we got a Grand Tusk Dragon. I will let you guys know after the video if I pulled anything crazy with those two cards sitting back there in the background. But with my luck with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not been the best so far. We shall see, though. I hope it's going to be at least $20 cards for you. No, don't go back in the front. So I hope it's going to be at least a $20 card because those cards seem to sell the best. I get looked at. Oh, my, my, my fingers just are falling apart. Come on, let me get something. We got a Scatter Fusion. It looks like a beautiful card, but no other Secret Rares. I was feeling pretty positive that after we got the second one right in a row that it was going to be the last one of the opening. But no matter what, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, please make sure to smash that like button. Drop a comment down below or subscribe to the channel. It all helps out. It all helps out. We're trying to get... I don't know. My, my brain's falling apart right now. I just pretty much went blank. But no matter what, I hope you guys are having a, a great day, staying positive, happy, and healthy. Drizzy out.